Illnesses and medications that lead to hair loss, part de anemia. According to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, 20% of women of childbearing age have iron deficiency anemia. Anemia is a condition where you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. That's kind of a big deal. Having anemia can not only make you feel tired and weak, but it can alter your hair. Hair loss has been known to be amongst anemia's top symptoms. While there isn't sufficient evidence directly linking anemia to hair loss, so not every one with anemia experiences hair loss. I had a mild case of it myself and it did not alter my hair in any way, but it's safe to say that iron deficiency is almost always found amongst those experiencing hair loss. We're talking about diffuse hair loss, known as telogen effluvium, the kind that makes your hair weak and brittle and exposes your scalp. Who's more susceptible to anemia? Women, infants and children, vegetarians, and those with poor nutrient absorption capacity. I can completely relate to this. I had to do some serious gut repairing work to actually absorb the nutrients I was feeding my body. Like I would supplement and nothing would show up in my blood work. That's when you know you have an absorption issue. What could be done and can the hair loss be reversed? Once you regulate your iron and more importantly maintain your ferritin levels, the protein that actually stores iron, above 70 nanograms you can expect your hair to start growing back in after roughly six months. Follow for more science and expert backed hair health advice.